Masterpiece. This is gonna be good. <laughs> These cookies are filled with nothing but sugar. They have no nutritional value and have to go. Ah! It's time for healthy cookies in this house, and I'm gonna make them. No! I call these the sugar and fat-free tongue tantalizers. They taste better than they look. <laughs> Try one. I think you should have called them dirt, because that's what they taste like. Oh, yeah? Well, here. Let's have a taste test if you're so smart. Tell me if my tongue tantalizers really do taste like dirt. I dare you. Dad, I stand corrected. I thought so. Dirt tastes better. Really? Darn! Well, I will not give up, and I will make a cookie where the whole town will cheer and thank me. Mark my words. Johnny still need cookie. Luckily, I've got my secret stash in the back of my closet, under my dirty undie pile in the dresser that no one knows about. I'm not here. <gasps> That's the last cookie. Don't you dare eat that. <laughs> It's worth any punishment you could give me. <laughs> ah! Now I have to go to my extreme secret cookie stash. To the lab! Ah! I'm not in here either. <laughs> what does a boy have to do to get a tasty cookie around here? Just test them, Johnny. We've been experimenting with, I mean baking, 100% fortune cookies. As in, every fortune is guaranteed to come true. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Do they have a lot of sugar in them? Tons. Better than dirt. Johnny need more. Man, you're fast, dog. Guys, you're supposed to read the fortunes. That's what makes the cookies so special. Why? They never come true. Or they're like, you are loved by many. Or wearing a smile keeps you from being naked. That's not a fortune, that's who cares. Well, these will come true because the fortune is written on paper laced with pheromonal motivators. Touching the pheromone paper will stimulate the senses and neurotransmitters will unlock the immense power of positive thinking. Go ahead, pick one up and read it. Why not? You were born to dance. <laughs> that is ridiculous and hey! Get down with my bad cell! <gasps> they work! And this helps you get Gil how? We're going to give him a cookie and he will read... You will kiss a girl with red hair and a lab coat and glasses. Then whoa, Nelly! He kisses us. Hey, Johnny, and red-headed girls with lab coats and glasses. We have a cookie for you. Awesome! I love fortune cookies. Mmm. Pipsies! Bull, fetch a fortune! <laughs> Love the cookie, yo. And Bull really loves you. <laughs> Laters, Johnny. 
You thinking what I'm thinking? We break into the girls' lab, write some fortunes of our own, and bring them to a local shelter and have people's fortunes come true. Close. We sneak into the lab, write some fortunes, and sell them to the kids in the neighborhood and get rich, rich, rich! Um, when did your dad install these giant ducks? Keep moving. The lab is this way. Ooh, you're just in time to taste my new cookie recipe. It was the other way. Okay, that was a little overdramatic, don't you think? And I'm telling you, they will cheer for my cookies! They will cheer me! Spingo! Now we just have to write down some stupid fortunes, and we'll get our fortunes! As in tons of moolah to buy steak! And my own tropical island full of pineapples that I'll eat every morning along the shore. Now, let's sell some cookies! Hey, hey, come and get it! Piping hot the fortune cookies! Every fortune guaranteed to come true, just for you! I'll take one test for free! You're going to be a singer! <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I ever had! Look at me! Look at me! I'm singing! Ha, I want a cookie! You will be a bullfighter! Toro! Bull! Toro! 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 Hey, look, everybody! Another fortune comes a true! Who's next to buy Johnny's amazing fortune cookies, huh? <laughs> Now that Bull's gone, it's time to put Operation Get Kill the Kisses by Reading a Fortune Cookie back into action. Hi! Would you like to support the Girl Improvement League? We like to build self-confidence and strength through cheer and cheer routines. Cheering? How about building real girl skills through math, science, and student leadership, sister? <laughs> okay, maybe that was a little harsh. Now, let's drop off that cookie. <laughs> Hmm. Ooh, another fortune cookie. You will kiss a girl with red hair and a lab coat and... woo -hoo -hoo, That is way too long a sentence. Oh, great. <laughs> Quick, we have to make more cookies. We sold out. I'll bake and you start writing fortunes. Don't just make up anything, like, uh, uh, you will be a princess, you will walk on your hand, you can fly, just do it fast! <laughs> These cookies are really amazing! I know, and what about us? Perhaps we should join in on the fun. Then check this one out! You will be super strong! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, the power of positive thinking is really effective. My turn. Large warthogs will attack your town. Cool. What? I ran out of things to write, and I saw it in a horror movie. It was cool. There were these warthogs who attack a town, and... A horror movie? Don't worry. There's not a warthog within 100 miles of pork belly. <laughs> Stop! The princess demands it! Okay, I can't write anything shorter than this. Kiss a girl with a gill sign. That's gotta work. Another cookie from heaven. Kiss a girl with a gill sign. Run. It worked! Oh, oh yeah? Oh yeah, it worked? Would you like to support the Girl Improvement League? Mwah. Can this day get any worse? I know what you're gonna say, and I'm sorry. I got a little greedy. But you tell us! How does a fortune cookie attract wild warthogs? Because the pheromones we used to make the fortunes were pig pheromones. But it shouldn't be a problem with only a few pieces of paper. How many cookies did you make? Fifteen. No, wait. Seven thousand! Ah! Johnny! The concentrated pheromones attracted them to Pork Belly, but because they are scavengers that eat dirt in the wild, they now have discovered a food-filled Pork Belly and will never leave. 
Who wants to try my new batch of tongue tantalizers? Did you say food and dirt? Yeah. I'm gonna need some blasters. Here, warthogs, get your free cookies. Free cookies here. Which again tastes better. Yeah! yeah! Those horrible cookies saved our town! We should cheer louder for whoever made them! Yeah! Hey Dad, your fortune did come true. The whole town is cheering and thanking you for your cookies. And you know what, son? I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. We've mastered the paddle ball. Well, we've built the Uranium Cranium Mind Builder, which can make anyone a super genius with just one blast. Yeah, but can your Cranium Mind Thinger do this? Ow! 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 That is just dumb, Johnny. Oh, yeah? Well, you're dumb. Oh, yeah? Well, dumb people don't get full scholarships to the Pork Belly Institute of Technology. Which is why we need to demonstrate the Uranium Cranium Mind Builder to Professor Slopsink today to secure another year of free college. Wow, great story. Now watch Johnny get cheese with Paddle Ball. <laughs> oh, you'll rule the day you experimented on Montague Mouse. Soon, all the cheese in the world will be mine. Mine! <laughs> We couldn't find you, so we tested the Mind Builder on some mice. Which also has a really dumb reverse mode. <laughs> now, we only have enough uranium left for one more blast, so throw that dumb toy away, Johnny, before you do something dumb. Fine. Right after one more paddle ball. <laughs> Susan, Mary, are you okay? Talk to us. Say something. Anything. Duh. <laughs> You reversed the uranium mind builder and blasted your sisters into Dumbville! And there's no more uranium to turn them back into geniuses! Now oh, this is just great! Yeah! What are you talking about? This is great! I've got big dumb sisters! Watch! Susan, Mary, what's two plus two? Uh, 22? And this is gonna be good. No, it's not. Yes, it is, because now I'm the smart one, and it's time to do some tests on them. <laughs> the cheese is mine! You will rule the day you challenge me! Rule, I say! This is called pie. I need you to test it for me and see if it's still tasty and not gross. Oh, and you eat pie with your face. <laughs> this is awesome! This is not funny, Johnny. I like pie. <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit. But with them being dumb, they can't boss me around anymore. And I can take anything out of the lab I want. Like this watch phone thing. It's nice. But if we don't get your sisters to their meeting at the Pork Belly Institute with Professor Slopsink to show their uranium mind builder, <gasps> they're going to lose their scholarship! <laughs> And this is my problem, Hal. Because having big, dumb sisters means no more big, fun experiments, no time travel, and no smart sisters doing your math homework for you. We gotta get my sisters smart again. Oh, great. The mind builder is out of uranium. And they're picking their noses again. Duh. Don't sweat it. We'll just call another teenage psychoscientist who's sure to help. Ah. What is it, Johnny? You're interrupting my snack time. I need uranium to make my sisters smart again and get them a scholarship to the Institute. Sorry, don't have any uranium. I can see the crates of uranium. Okay, I don't have any uranium you can use because I loathe the Pork Belly Institute. One little experiment eats Slopsink's hand off and I'm out on my golden butt. 
Plus, if Susan loses her scholarship, she can finally study with me at Bling Bling University, the finest homeschool university in, in my house. Tell Susan I'll keep my waffles warm. Bling Bling out. Homeschooling is an option, and those waffles did look good. Ow, 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 ow. I got it! I bet there's a ton of uranium at the Institute. <laughs> We have to keep dumb Susan and Mary away from <laughs> Professor Slop Sink! Welcome, Tesh Sisters! And annoying little brother, you are early. But no worries, we shall begin the scholarship interview. Now, what is your favorite thing about mathematics? I like pie! Yeah, pie is my favorite thing too! <laughs> Especially when used with the Fibonacci numbers. Well, that settles it. They get the scholarship and they'll see you in class tomorrow. Let's get out of here! Wait! And what is this? Uh, you know, it's one of those giant school hall passes. Hey, is that a shaved yak? Shaved yak? There! <laughs> okay, I guess we'll do the interview later. <laughs> wow, a school with its own nuclear reactor. Now that's an education. Just hack the security code, dog. Got it, and dumb sister alert! <laughs> What are you doing? Pressing colorful buttons. I've heard that before somewhere. Total core meltdown in seven minutes. Wait. <laughs> Don't worry, I can fix it. I'm the smart one now. Total core meltdown in five minutes. The important thing is I tried, right? No! What do we do now? Same plan as before. You hack the security code and we blast Susan and Mary. Where are Susan and Mary? Uh, hello? I need your help breaking into a uranium safe or the Institute is gonna melt down. Help a brother out! But I'm having too much fun at this awesome private institute where I happen to be the most popular boy on campus. See? Yo, Double B, Fish Bump! Want to go to the dance with me tonight? You're the best. You programmed your own classmates? That is so sad. Okay! I crave human interaction! I'll crack your safe if you promise Susan will attend Bling Bling University. Ah. Ah. I gotta call you back. Ooh, you're early. I like that. Now, scholarships are hard to come by, and I want to be assured that you girls are still scholarship worthy, or I will have to kick you out of the university and you will end up having a horrible life. What? The shaved yak. It's back. Look. I won't be fooled again, Johnny. But this time he's really there. Man, have you ever seen such a thing? He's really there, out the window. Oh, what a shaved yak. I'm not falling for it, Johnny. It has absolutely no hair. No? Oh, what a glorious shaved yak. Mia, I must see this bear beast. <laughs> Curse you, Johnny Tesh. Chair, but in your dreams, Professor. <laughs> okay, really cool chair. Made it myself. I'm not head professor of this school for nothing. Why is the meltdown light flashing? Total core meltdown in three minutes. Oh, we're having a meltdown. We're having a meltdown! Look. My sisters are really awesome and smart, but I turned them dumb. And when I tried to make them smart again, we accidentally started a nuclear meltdown in the lab. But you're a genius too, right? So you can fix this and save the school and us. Correct. I am a genius who unfortunately does not work well under pressure. <sighs> you fainted? That is so weak. I couldn't hack the security code. You have to hack. I'm at a dance. Yeah, yeah. No, you're at a dance with robots, which is completely sad, dude. Wouldn't you rather hang with a real girl? Smile and look like you're in love. A girl like Susan. Yes! <laughs> but why should I save PIT? Because Susan's here. And because I know that under that chubby, selfish exterior is a tender soul that always chooses what's right. And save the school for love! Total core meltdown in one minute. I'll do it! 
Nice speech. Excellent performance. <laughs> oh, Susan, I must say you look quite fetching. Okay, uh, that's new. Hurry! Blast your sisters now! What's going on? Total core meltdown in 10 seconds. Well, that explains it. Quick, Mary, override the main switch and divert all power to manual. Yes, done. Now pull the lever! <laughs> Our hands are touching. Just pull! Total core meltdown has been stopped. Have a nice day. Yay! All right! You're right, Johnny. They are scholarship worthy. Not only for the genius ray they created when the fast acting hecting on the computer, but just the fact that they live with you and survive. They are definitely PIT scholarship material. Yes! And don't forget Eugene. He helped save the school, too. C can I come back to the Institute, please? I promise I won't create anything that eats off your other hand. <laughs> I don't want to go to school with robots. <laughs> yeah, I brought some pizza for us to chill with, yo. <laughs> Fist bump? I don't think so, weirdo. You want to go to the school dance and uh, boogie down? Not if you were the last boy on Earth. <sighs> well, at least you're all human. <laughs> Yeah.